greetings to all of our Lighthouse family. I'm standing here today on our rooftop. Though we are in a time of confinement, I, I thank the Lord that we have a rooftop that we can come and uh, breathe some, some air. Uh, today, uh, Pastor Jennifer in the U.S. Uh, and Bridget who is filming for me today, uh, we are thinking of you and we are praying for all the church uh, in Lighthouse and we are praying also for your family situation. Uh, we often communicate together, even though Pastor Jennifer is in the U.S. We also have meetings with the board constantly using uh, Zoom. Last night we had a long meeting again. We're looking ahead. Uh, we, we are thinking of options to keep connecting the church together. We want to uh, urge you today to uh, keep up to date and informed. Uh, by regularly checking the Lighthouse uh, WhatsApp announcements and the Facebook because this is the way that we will keep on feeding you, telling you things and we intend in the coming days and weeks uh, to post more often uh, f devotions, uh, times of prayers and, uh, and these kind of things. We want also to encourage you to, even though we are separated by confinement, to make an effort to stay connected with your brothers and sisters, uh, even to call each other by voice, not only by text. I think in a time of confinement, we really need to hear each other's voice and to communicate. We also want to encourage you strongly, some of you are a bit bolder with technology, to uh, start uh, your own groups uh, with some of your close friends uh, to, to have uh, devotions or even just conversations. It's, it's a lot of fun to do that. We have had a Wednesday night meeting on Zoom. Uh, we have had the, the board meetings on Zoom and we can see face, we can hear, we can exchange. So we want to urge you to try to do that and set up some, some groups. And we want to tell you that if, if you are a little bit scared about how to go about it, we will uh, help you set up. We, as you are trying on your phone or on your laptop, uh, we can use uh, Facebook, or, I mean uh, WhatsApp, and we can help you. Yesterday I helped uh, Juliet and Kenya to set up a, a Zoom a meeting, and she will be ready to join our next week Wednesday night meeting, so we can help you on that. It is very important that uh, in a time of confinement, uh, in the church, we will stay connected. We will know that we are still the church everywhere. I was reading a text this morning and I want to uh, bring it to you today. Uh, it's from the uh, different Bible versions. Uh, troubles are around us on every side, but we are not shut in. Things are hard for us, but we see a way out of them. The same Scripture is from another Bible version. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. We are experiencing all kinds of trouble, but we aren't crushed. We are, are confused, but we aren't depressed. So this is an encouragement for us. Uh, this is not the first time that the church, Christians, have to share uh, difficult times. Uh, through the history of the church. So, but as we read in this text here, we aren't crushed, even though we may feel shut in with God and united to Christ, we are not really shut in. We, we, we are alive. We may be confused. We may not understand exactly what's happening around us, but we are not discouraged. We are not depressed. Last Sunday, I shared a message reminding us to be the church everywhere. And today I found another text in my devotion this morning. It's from Exodus chapter 20, verse 24. In every place, again, in every place, in your home, in your workplace, on my rooftop, any place we are, in every place that I set aside for you to worship me, I will come to you and bless you. I think this is a great encouragement to you. 
any place we are, we can set up an altar for the Lord to come and bless us. Where we come up to Him, we offer to Him. It's an altar of praise. It's an altar of prayer. And the Lord says, And every place that I set aside for you to worship me, I will come to you and I will bless you. And this is what I pray that where you are right now, when you will be listening to this video, you will feel the blessing of the Lord. Uh, this morning I was uh, listening to uh, 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 live on YouTube. It's from a, a French uh, Christian TV uh, program, Christian TV program, uh, calling all Christians in the French-speaking world to unite together in prayer. And it was really encouraging to know how many churches were linking. The, at the time to, that I listened, there was already 600 churches uh, connecting together in prayer. This is a global crisis, and globally churches are uniting. The Lord hears our prayers. The Lord has plans. He's, he's working through that. And uh, Wednesday night in our time of Bible study using Zoom, we were reminded in Ephesians chapter 1 that God chose us before the foundation of the world. And today, you and I, we are part of God's plan. He is working. It, though it may seem that we are limited, God is not limited. What seems to be an impossible to man, it's not impossible to God, for to God all things are possible. So, let's pray. Father God, King of kings, Lord of lords, God of this universe, we don't understand all of your plan, what's happening in this world globally, but we know that you are trustworthy. We know that we can rely on you. We know that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He has been sent to us to save us. We know, Lord, that you are provider. We know that you are protector. And we choose today to trust in you. And Lord, we also intercede and call on you, O oh Lord, because we know you are merciful, and we pray, Lord, be merciful for this world right now. And Lord, extend your mercy and your grace. Protect your children worldwide. Help the church to communicate your message of eternal life in a way or another. And Lord, we chose today to trust you and to remain faithful to you. And Lord, we have realized recently that our treasure, our earthly treasures, cannot be our security anymore. You are our security. You are our peace and our provider. In Jesus' name, amen. So I want to urge you in closing, keep up to date and informed by regularly checking out the Lighthouse WhatsApp announcement and Facebook. Remember that this coming Sunday, March 29, and also on April 5, we are meeting online only. The church will not be open. The fourth floor will not be open. But our hearts will be open. Join us in our live feed this coming Sunday. God bless you. Have a great day. See you soon.